Hola, hoy estamos en otro tutorial de Clan Free Parkour. Eh, este va a ser el tutorial resubido del Tigre, que es un salto básico. Eh, yo soy Anton, os lo explicaré en español. Él es José, que acaba de aparecer, que os lo explicaré en inglés, pero por lo visto no quiere salir ya. Así que vuelva a este vídeo ya. Eh, lo único que tenéis que tener en cuenta, no hay ningún salto que tenéis que aprenderos eh, antes, pero lo único que tenéis que tener en cuenta es... Eh, entráis de lado, no, no, qui no quiero que entréis de frente, hay mucha gente que le digo, vale, hacer el tigre y, entra y entran así y digo, no, tienes que entrar con el muro porque es pasártelo como el vago y directamente es, entras y pones una mano, la mano más cercana que tienes si vas a entrar, y si vas a entrar a la izquierda, pues la izquierda, si vas a entrar a la derecha, la derecha la mano que, por el lado que más veáis cómodo, pero ponéis esa mano, saltáis al aire, ponéis la otra y cuando, estéis a, cuando vais a pasar, quitáis esta mano para no chocaros con ella y pasáis. Pasáis por al lado de esta mano. Como un ejemplo de distancia. Eh, y eso es, un, eso es el tigre de grande. Es un salto muy simple. Que, eh, es que no tiene mucha complicación en un principio. Como es un salto básico, va a ser un tutorial, este tutorial va a ser muy corto en un principio. Y en un principio hasta el final. Eh, pues bueno, eh, eso es todo por este tutorial. Darle a like, suscribiros, comentar, darle a dislike si queréis por José, ya que. Eh, bueno, eh, ya llegamos al final de este principio. <risa> eh, y esto va siendo todo por el tutorial. Como un último ejemplo, y ahora José explicando en inglés. Welcome guys, this is another tutorial from Clan Fruit Parkour. Today we're going to bring you this, which in English I'm not quite sure <laughs> of the name of. Uh, quadrupedal is the name we've heard of. We've also heard a uh, uh, lateral Kong. Um, it's this vault you should know by, by the actual video that we're going to do. So you can, pick, you can have your own name. In, English it's called, in Spanish it's called Tiger, obviously translated into Spanish. So, um, I'm not sure if you want to call it Tiger, you can call it Tiger if you want. But anyway, back to the tutorial. To learn this tutorial, you don't need to learn any basic jump, because this is a basic jump, because we are re-uploading it, so because it's in a better quality, and obviously, look, right? <laughs> it's in better quality, and we're going to do it first in Spanish, and then in English. Uh, he did it in Spanish, or should I say she, I'm not really sure. And now I did it, I'm gonna do it in English. Okay guys? Right, so to get this tutorial down, what the, the, the best thing you can do is you can find a small wall, knee height, waist height, depends on which more, what is more comfortable. Um, another thing to take into consideration is also gonna be your hands. The hands are the most complicated uh, factor in this actual vault. Um, He's the most complicated factor in this actual vault. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so basically the hands are quite important, but another very important thing is once you approach the wall, knee, waist height, or gay height, however you, you approach it, you, can appro you have to approach it sideways. You have to go along the wall. Don't come in front, okay? Along, along the wall. Sorry, I'm laughing because... He's very homosexual in a homosexual state right now. You have to go along the wall, go in parallel, and then you basically cross it diagonally. This point, oh my god! This point, this is where the arms come into it, your hands, right? This is the important thing. If you come into it with on your left hand side, right? You put your left hand side first. God, thank God you come back to normal. Your left hand side first, then your right hand, and then once you're going over the wall, your feet go over, this hand lifts up, and then you and then you basically go to the other side of the wall, and then that hand lifts up. Okay? So to do it as an example, Mrs. Gaylord, please would you do an example? As you can see there, obviously focus on his hands, not anything else. Um, as you saw, he came he came parallel to the wall. He put his left hand, then his right hand, then he lifted his left hand, and his legs went between. This is the most complicated factor in this actual 
rolled because some people don't know where to put the hands. If they put the hand, right hand, then left hand, then you hit this hand. So, so if you come in it, left hand side of, uh, on the wall, then you put your left hand first, then your right hand, then you take your hand off, left hand off. If you're on the right side, you put your right hand first, then your left hand, then you take your right hand off. Okay? If you didn't really understand that, go back and hit slow motion. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> right. So that's basically it, guys. That's the most important, important factor to get down with is your hands, right? Don't get him down, whatever you do. Um, and that's basically it, guys. It's a very basic, uh, basic vault. It will get complicated. It can make it more complicated. You can have the quadrupedal 360 or Tiger 360 or Lateral Kong 360. I'm not sure the name, but it's one of them, which we will be uploading a tutorial soon of it. So stay tuned to that. And that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. <laughs> Sorry for our background. <laughs> it's a bit. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> so, yeah. That's basically it, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. If you give a dislike because of him, I wouldn't blame you. Cause I think I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> and that's basically it. Like, subscribe, and share. Comment if you have any problems. And see you later. <laughs>